Hello and welcome to this week's edition of At PE, where this week I'm going to show you how to get better pictures. Now, how to hold a camera might seem like a really simple thing, but uh, this is the first thing that we teach you in our photography classes and I'm going to show you how to do it today. So there's two main types of cameras out there today. We've got the tiny little compact cameras and the big SLR cameras. So first I'll show you the compact camera. And I'm going to show you how not to take a picture with it. The biggest mistakes we, we normally see people make with the uh, compact cameras are when it's time to take a picture, you stab down on the uh, shutter. Hmm. And if you're stabbing down on the shutter, you're moving that camera and you're then getting a blurry picture. Now, if you, the idea you want to do is just lightly squeeze that shutter so that you're keeping the, the camera still. You'll notice a lot of cameras these days, the compact cameras don't even have an optical viewfinder. They've only got a screen. So you, you're going to be looking at the screen. So I know kids these days are only used to taking pictures like this. They don't even know how to look through a, <laughs> through a viewfinder. And the idea is it's really easy to go like this with one hand. When I'm taking pictures, if I have two hands available, I like to use two hands. It's steadier. And uh, just keep the elbows in and just lightly squeeze the trigger. So that's fairly simple. The Most often when you get blurry pictures, it's not because of movement in the picture. It's because of movement in the camera. And then we've got... <laughs> The SLR cameras, the big ones. And the, the uh, biggest mistake I see people making with these is trying to shoot like this. Uh, some cameras nowadays have the live view, but a lot don't. You're going to have to use the viewfinder the old-fashioned the old -fashioned way. And the other big mistake I see people make with these cameras is holding them like this. I see people do this all the time. That's not the steadiest way to, to uh, zoom your, your lens in and out. What we recommend is get your elbows in tight to your body, and we're going to make a little triangle. So we're, we're holding the camera all of the cameras being supported with the right hand and then we're holding the lens underneath with the left hand and then you can use that to zoom in and out and you're very steady that way and that's the uh, easiest way to take pictures with an SLR so if you like these type of tips and you want to get a whole bunch more uh, just sign up for one of our photography classes and we'll be running a bunch of those uh, in January so I'll pass it on to Michelle now Hi, I get to play with flower soft today, I'm so excited we just got this product in on Friday before the anniversary and it's been so busy I haven't had time to play with it, so today I get to play with it. So this is Flower Soft, it's dimensional and you can add it to your cards, your scrapbook pages, floral projects, home decor projects, all kinds of things. It's really cool. They say when you get a jar, to open it up and put it in a, like a little plastic container with a lid and then just to kind of fluff it up and get some air in there, kind of lets it all breathe and get out there and you can see how much you get in a jar, so that's going to last you for a very, very long time. This is a very pretty pocky red, great for all the Christmas stuff we have coming up. I'm just going to show you a couple samples. You can easily make flowers with the wires. We'll do that in another video another day to show you how to do that. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous Christmas lantern. It's just beautiful. And you can see that this doesn't squish. So you can put it on your pages and your scrapbook page or mail it in a card and you don't have to worry about it squishing. It's very, very cool stuff. So what I'm going to do is my favorite, this little Santa with the teddy bear. He's so cool. It comes in a package and you get three of the Santa cards. And you also get three, in this particular package, three of the Santa Reading a Story cards. And the cool thing is that they come with these little sheets so you can decoupage or paper toll your project. So they're, it's by number, so it's, you can't go wrong. Even I can do it, as the girls were laughing at me. <laughs> so you just punch it out. So here I would punch out number one, number two, number three. So I've done those steps already on the card here, as you can see, just to show you how to do it. And I just left one more for me to do, so I'm just going to punch out his nose here. So you can see that they punch out really easy. And then you just put little pop dots on the back, little foam dots. Just make sure that they're not showing. And you want to make sure that you put a fair amount of them so that it's not going to squish down anywhere. And take off the other little ends. And I'm going to put his nose and his mustache on. So it just lines up over top of the other one that you have. So you can see you get a really cool effect. So that would be cool just on its own, but I'm going to add some flower soft to it. Now you want to do, if you're doing multiple colors, you want to start with your lightest color and you need to let them dry in between each, each coating. So get rid of some of this stuff here. So you want to use the flower soft PVA glue. You can use other glues, but if you use a cheaper glue, what's going to happen is it's not going to be a really firm and, and hold really nicely. So you want to make sure that you use a good quality glue. I'm just going to put some glue on the, where we want to put the white flower soft. The white's called polar white. And so that I won't bore you with for the whole video, I'm just going to do the top part here and then I'll show you the finished card afterwards. So I just want to make sure you get a good sprinkling where you want it. 
And now this is really hard. You better be paying attention. Are you watching? So difficult. Woo, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, this is so difficult. I'm just sweating here. Whoa, look at that. And how gorgeous is that? Now if you want, you could also put some glitter on it while it's still wet, and you would have a really cool glitter effect. So hopefully you can see that on the video, how cool it is. You can come and see the finished card in the store. Have fun playing with your flower soft. See you next week.